सो हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल द टॉपिक फॉर आवर टूडेज लेक्चर इज फंक्शनल फूड्स एंड न्यूट्रास्यूटिकल्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद फंक्शनल फूड्स सो इन रिसेंट ईयर्स फंक्शनल फूड्स हैव गेन पॉपुलरिटी विद इन हेल्थ एंड वेलनेस सर्कल्स सो फंक्शनल फूड्स आर हाईली न्यूट्रिशियस एंड एसोसिएटेड विद अ नंबर ऑफ पावरफुल हेल्थ बेनिफिट्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल Uh, they may protect against diseases prevent nutrient deficiencies and promote proper growth and development functional uh, foods are ingredients that offer health benefits that extend beyond their nutritional value so some types of functional foods contain supplements or other additional ingredients uh, that are designed to improve our health so the concept of functional foods uh, was originated in japan in 1980s Okay when government agencies started approving foods with proven benefits in an effort to better the uh, health of the general population so some examples of functional foods include fortified uh, includes the food that are fortified with vitamins minerals probiotics or fibers so nutrient rich ingredients like fruits vegetables nuts seeds and grains uh, are often considered functional food as well okay so oats for instance contain a type of fiber called as beta glucan uh, that has been uh, shown to reduce inflammation enhance immune function and improve heart health so similarly fruits and vegetables are packed with antioxidants which are beneficial compounds uh, that help to protect against diseases so functional foods are food that offer health benefit beyond their nutritional value and in addition to nutrient rich ingredients like fruit and vegetables the categories also include foods fortified with vitamins minerals probiotics and fiber so functional foods are generally separated into two categories that are con uh, conventional and modified so conventional foods are natural whole grain uh, whole food ingredients that are rich in important nutrients like vitamins minerals antioxidants and heart healthy fats and meanwhile modified foods have been fortified with additional ingredients such as vitamin mineral probiotic or fiber to increase a food uh, health benefit okay so yeah uh, here are some examples of functional foods like in fruits berries kiwi pear peaches apple oranges banana are considered as functional foods okay and in vegetables broccoli cauliflower kale spinach zucchini are called as functional foods okay and the potential benefits of functional foods include it prevents uh, nutrient deficiencies like functional foods are typically high in important nutrients including vitamin mineral healthy fats and fiber so filling your diet with a variety of functional foods including both conventional and fortified foods can help to ensure can help ensure to uh, you to get the nutrients you need and protect against nutrient deficiencies okay and in fact since the introduction of fortified foods the prevalence of nutrient deficiencies has significantly decreased around the globe for instance uh, after iron fortified wheat flour uh, was introduced in jordan rate of iron deficiency anemia among children were nearly uh, cut it to half and fortification had, had has also been used to prevent other conditions caused by nutrient deficiencies including rickets goiter or birth defects second potential benefit of functional food is uh, it protects against diseases so functional food provide important nutrients that can help to protect against diseases so some functional foods are also high in like uh, omega 3 fatty acids a healthy type of fat shown to reduce infl inflammation um, boost brain function promote heart health okay and like other types of functional foods are rich in fiber which can promote better blood sugar control and protect against conditions like diabetes obesity heart diseases okay third potential benefit of this is uh, it it may promote proper growth and development so certain nutrients are essential to proper growth and development in infants and children okay so yeah for example uh, cereals grains and flours okay are often fortified with b vitamins like folic acid okay which is essential for fetal health and low levels of folic acid can increase the risk of neural tube defects okay which can affect the uh, brain spinal cord or spine and other nutrients commonly found in functional uh, foods 
also play key roles in growth and development including omega 3 fatty acids iron zinc calcium and vitamin b12 so uh, functional foods of animal origin and functional foods of plant origin are the uh, types of functional food we can say okay and the uh, type on the basis of origin so functional foods of uh, animal origin uh, these are probably the most intensively investigated class of physiologically active components derived from animal products are like uh, and three fatty acid Uh, predominantly found in fatty fishes such as salmon tuna mackerel sardines or herring the two primary fatty acid are eicosa pente uh, pentenoic acid and docosa hexanoic acid okay so functional foods of plant origin uh, numerous plant food or physiologically active ingredients derived from plants have been investigated for their role in disease prevention and health Now let us come to the nutraceuticals. So nutraceutical is a broad umbrella term that is used to describe any product derived from uh, food sources with extra health benefits in addition to the basic nutritional value found in foods. So nutraceuticals product uh, can be considered non-specific biological therapies used to promote general well-being, uh, control symptoms and prevent malignant diseases. So yeah nutraceuticals are also known by the following terms like functional foods medical foods designer foods phytochemicals nutritional supplements Okay so now let us come to the history so the term nutraceuticals uh, combine uh, the two words uh, of nutrients which is a nourishing food component and pharmaceutical which is a medical drug so the name was coined in 18 sorry in 1989 by Stephen Daffelis founder and chairman of the Foundation for Innovation in Medicine which is an American organization uh, located in Cranford New Jersey next is types so nutraceuticals are broadly uh, classified based on their function food source and bioactive component so most of them fall under two general categories dietary supplements and functional foods So a dietary supplement is a product taken by mouth that contain a dietary ingredient intended to supplement the diet. So the dietary ingredients in these products may include vitamins, minerals, herbs or other botanicals, amino acids and substances such as enzymes, organ tissues, glandulars and metabolites. So uh, dietary supplements can also be extracts, okay? or concentrates and may be found in many forms such as tablets capsules soft gels gel caps liquid or powder functional foods are fortified or en- enriched uh, during processing and then marketed as providing uh, some benefits to consumers so sometimes additional complementary nutrients are added such as vitamin d to milk Now let us come to the similarities between functional foods and nutraceuticals. So functional foods and nutraceuticals are two type of compounds with related functions. So therefore their names are used as can be used as interchangeably. Okay. So also both have health promoting, disease preventing and medicinal properties. Now what is the difference between them? So functional foods uh, the functional foods are the ingredients. Okay, the foods with ingredient which gives the food health promoting properties over and above its usual nutritional value and nutraceuticals are the food stuffs uh, as a fortified food or a dietary supplement held to provide health or medicinal benefits in addition to its basic nutritional value functional foods on the other hand naturally contain bioactive compounds fo- uh, compounds found in foods and the nutraceuticals the uh, in nutraceuticals the bioactive compounds found in fortified food dietary supplements or herbal products functional foods are totally naturally natural and uh, nutraceuticals are nu- natural or synthetic and available as pills capsules or liquids functional foods uh, are the bio- bioactive compound in them okay they have the bioactive compound in them and are uh, different from the traditional nutrients and the nutraceutical include traditional nutrients example of functional foods include grapes strawberries apples etc et okay and the example of uh, nutraceutical include beta carotene lycopene resveratrol and ferulic acid okay So yeah that's it thank you for watching and do visit our website that is www.foodtechnetwork.in